Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work out the problem 63 in chapter 3. In this one, we can look at these relative velocities. It tells us uh, there is an object uh, which has the initial velocity which has a velocity at the horizontal is 10 meters per second. And then, uh, ask you to find the initial velocity uh, relative to the ground, right? So, the first situation is this uh, uh, object is risen 5 meters re relative to the ground. So, when we solve these problems, we look at there is an object. First one, it carries a horizontal velocity. 10 meter per second. And then vertically, it tells us at initial, this hot air is, rise, is rising at 5 meter relative to the ground. So this object is from this uh, uh, hot air object. So that means at initial, it has a velocity 5.0 meter per second to the ground vertically up. So now can you find the initial velocity? We know the x component, we know the y component. So easy, right? So you can find this is x component, y component. So you can find the magnitude of this velocity and also angle theta for this velocity. The next one is tell you this is still a velocity or still the object, it carries a horizontal velocity 10 meter per second. The next one, we say, tell us the hot air is just uh, move down at 5 meter relative to ground. So this one is a uh, 5 meter per second to the ground. Can you find its initial velocity? Sure, because we know the vol initial velocity at x component and at y component. See, there we keep this negative side because it's moved down, and then we can get its magnitude of the velocity and angle theta 